Y'all are sneakerheads? Yeah, I did kicks. Yeah. I'm a lot of kicks. Yeah. You in particular? Yeah, I am. Yeah. I remember you had, a, there was a picture of you and Bow Wow, and you had the, the black and infrared sixes. Yeah. Early. Those come out in November. Yeah. I mean, I, I but, but as far as Jordans go, I have every pair of Jordans that ever came out that's before the new retros and all of this shit. I got all the original pair of Jordans, and I got Jordans that they ain't even released before yet still. Yeah. That's from back when the Jordans came out. I've been collecting Jordans since 92. You know, when Criss Cross, that was, that's our sneaker. That was the sneaker that we always wear, um, that we always wore. So it's like, um, I'm a sneakerhead, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm Jordan head. I'm a Jordan fanatic, basically. How many pairs of sneakers do you have? I don't, I don't know. Like, it might be it might be a thousand pair of sneakers at my studio. A thousand alone. pairs. Yeah, easy. What's your favorite Jordan of all time? Um, I like the ones. The ones. The ones. Which I like color? The ones. The ones. I got the black and blue, and I got the black, red, and white ones. Okay. Um, but I got fives. I like the five. I like fours too. I, I in like between fours. the ones and the four, I like the original fours too. Uh, I got the fives. I got the. Um, Sevens. I got, I got, I got some, but I don't really like. I, I'm like big right now. What I've been rocking, I've been just buying all the Jeremy Scott. So okay, I've been buying all the Jeremy Scott Adidas, the Teddy Bear ones. You got the, the gorillas. The, I got the gorillas. Yeah. I got uh, the the other big one with the tongue that flips over. I'm about to go pick up them Tigger joints that just came out. Like I'm on those. Now, now, do you do you think that you have a better collection than Bow Wow? Um, yeah, I do. I definitely do because Bow Wow. Once again, you, you, if you don't, I mean, I was telling him this today. If you don't have the education of hip hop and the education of culture, it's hard for you to beat me in any parts of this. I was, I grew up <laughs> in the era in 84, 85, 86, 87. These people weren't even in existence. <laughs> so it's hard for you, you can't buy culture. 